friends today we are going to learn about the output data table activity okay output data table activity so what i'm going to do it here is i'm going to read a excel file okay and then use that output data table activity and show that in the message box so we will learn what is the use of output data table in this video so let me run it and show you the demo so uh, okay currently the excel file is open let me close this and rerun this demo okay so what it will do it is going to read that excel file and then show me the output in the message box so we can see that id name phone number with all these details which was there in the excel file has come in the message box so sometimes in your project it is required that you see what is happening or you want to write a line right uh, you want to log it so that is where you'll be using a output data table so the use of output data table is to uh, you know take read that uh, data table and convert that to a text variable and show that in the message box so let's quickly do that okay so the very first activity that i'll be using is a read range okay delete this okay so the very first activity that i'll be using is a read range activity and then i will show that so let's understand the read range activity read range and i will drag and drop read range i will show which file to open okay in read range there are two things okay one of the mistake people will do is this is the excel works scope uh, right where it's not asking me the path so you have to always depending on your project you should always select the workbook because i feel this is more handy okay read range so here i am going to select the path click on open and it's going to read the data and i want to read it from the entire range so put a double quote that's all it's going to read so once it reads it should store the data in a data table right so for that control k and give a data table name so i'm declaring a variable called dt1 okay or let's say dt let's say dt4 okay so i have this is the a data table where the date entire data will be stored in this memory this is kind of a memory which will just store the value values all right so before we uh, proceed further guys myself rakesh um, i am one of the ui path solution architect and um, expo hub uh, on the channel please do subscribe and do hit on the like button before you go all right so let's get started now i am going to use the next activity called data table output data table right so just type data table all the activities will be listed one by one and i am going to quickly drag and drop the output data table and here in the output data table on the properties panel there are two things we need to focus one is the input data table and what is the output so input data table is nothing but our dt4 we have created dt4 okay and the output is a text okay so all i will do control k and here say let's say output is the variable i'm creating okay this is the text so once you create it if you go to variable you will see the output got created with a string type of data type right that's a text so uh, if somebody asks you what is the use of output data table nothing very simple it just take the data table and convert the entire data table into a text variable okay text type that's all now and this is very useful when you are wanted to log something let's say write line or message box or whatever you would like to use you know you can log those details so for that we need to use the output data table or any time we have to convert the data table into text any time there is a need so here what i'm going to do is the output data table is going to store the output in the variable called output all i have to do is type that variable here okay done so the the entire flow flow is done let me run it okay you can see that entire data from the excel file has come over here id name phone number in all the in the same sequence how you have defined in inside that excel file 
okay so this is the use of the output data table guys uh, while you go guys please do subscribe hit on the subscribe button and please click on the like button thank you you have a wonderful day